I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Music Week of Reviews. Each week I take five releases, albums or singles, and after having listened to them all week, I come back here and I review them. I share what I think of them. And this week I will be reviewing Christmas music. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get to this week's first release. Mercy Me's version of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Mercy version of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas starts off with kind of a violin and piano combination. And then as the song goes on, it switches to more of a violin and drum combination. As for the lyrics here, they, they talk about they give warm season greetings and wish for being together and wish for a better future in the new year. Up next, Sarah Groves' new album, new Christmas album. The review of Sarah Groves' new Christmas album, Joy of Every Longing Heart. I probably should say that this came across as a request from my mom. And thanks mom for requesting it. I myself am a Sarah Groves fan, so this works great. Now let's jump into how it sounds. A lot of piano on this album. But also we get violin, bass, guitar. We, 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 get, we get all that on this album. As for the lyrics here, talks about longing for Jesus' coming to this earth, which he has at Christmas. Up next, Dream Christmas Volume 4. From Volume 4, features some of Dream Label Group's most notable artists, including... We are Leo, Joel Bond, Hillary Jane, and Switch, just to name a few. The album has some pop stuff on it, and then some worship stuff on it, and some that is kind of a collision of the two, stylistically speaking. As for the lyrics here, great lyrics here. Very joyful, and they talk about how God has come down to be with us. Up next, Holly Star's new EP, Born is the King. Review of Holly Star's new Christmas EP, Born is the King. I just have to give thanks to someone requesting it. Thanks to the person that requested this. Now let's jump into how it sounds. Kind of a softer, easy listening pop sound on this one. With the piano being the big emphasis on this album. As for the lyrics here, first two, first two songs talk about being with your loved one in the winter. While the last song, her cover of the first Noel, talks about that very first Christmas that Jesus our Savior was born on. Up next, our last release for this week, Matthew Parker's debut Christmas EP, Irwin's Christmas Collection. Parker's new Christmas EP, Irwin's Christmas Collection, has synthesizer, bass, and violin. As for the lyrics, they take a few, they talk about a few different things, so let's, so let's, uh, talk about it a little bit. So the first song, Mistletoe Meltdown, is really hilarious. He basically says all he wants for Christmas is no kissing under the mistletoe from ha for him this year. The next track is basically what the 12 days of Christmas would sound like if we were only to sing the 12th day. <laughs> the last song though, Kindle, takes a little bit more of a worshipful tone to it. As he talks about how God's light has come. Bringing hope, peace, 
salvation and love to all mankind till the end of time. Come back next week for five more releases. If you like what you saw in this video, please subscribe. Also, if you have any Christmas releases you want me to review, please leave that in the comments below. Also, if you heard any great regular releases that have come out since last Friday or this Friday, and you want me to review those after Christmas, don't hesitate to leave those in the comments too. Also, be sure to give this business page a like on Facebook. I'm going to leave that a link to that in the description below. Also, if you want to check out my playlist is based on books, please check out the playlist section of this channel for that. Well, Merry Christmas. I'll go now. Bye.